Hi, today's video is going to be a book review for Charlotte Says by Alex Bell. If you don't already know, this book is a prequel to Frozen Charlotte, which I read last year as part of the second round of the WH Smith Zoella Book Club, and I was very excited when I heard there was going to be a second book because I enjoyed this one. This is an uncorrected proof copy, so this obviously isn't the final cover, but I will insert a picture of it here for you so you can see it. But this was a lovely surprise to be sent by the publishers, so thank you so much for that. That being said, I may have been sent this book, but all of these opinions are my own. I will always give you an honest review. So let's get on with the review. So this book is set in 1910 and it tells the fascinating and terrifying backstory of the Frozen Charlotte dolls. Our main character Jemima takes a job at an all-girls school after being recommended the position by her friend Henry who also works there. While she is working there, a parcel of Frozen Charlotte dolls arrive. This box of dolls brings back some horrible memories for Jemima, but while she is dealing with her past, it seems that these Frozen Charlotte dolls are going to start making some trouble of their own. I absolutely loved the characters in this book, especially Henry, he was definitely my favourite. As soon as he spoke to Jemima, I was practically screaming at them to get together. I just loved him, he was adorable. Jemima is a brilliant lead character and I love the way that she was written. I also liked her relationship with the girls at the school and the dynamic between her and Miss Grayson was also really interesting. You could also count the Frozen Charlotte dolls as characters as well, so if you have read Frozen Charlotte then I would just like to point out the dolls are just as terrifying in this book as they were in the first one. I absolutely love Alex's writing, it was brilliant in Frozen Charlotte and it is no different in this book either. Even though there are some very scary moments in here, I found myself not being able to put this down. I hate anything scary, especially films and things like that, so I often find myself turning away when things get a little bit too much, but I couldn't tear myself away from this. Her descriptions are just perfect and you can really put yourself in Jemima's position with everything that's going on in the school. The storyline for this prequel was everything I wanted it to be and more. If you've read Frozen Charlotte then you'll have an idea of some of the things to expect but don't worry about it being predictable because of that because it really isn't. I've also spoken to a couple of people who have read this book and they weren't too keen on the romantic aspect in this book but I think that it needed it. Jemima and Henry have been friends since childhood and he is looking out for her because of that. I think their relationship offers a light relief in this book from all of the horror that is going on but it doesn't take away from the storyline. Like I said, Henry is my favourite character in this book, but I'm also really glad that Jemima can hold her own through the events of this story. If you've seen any of my reviews before, then you'll know that I like to consider which actors and actresses would play these characters if it were ever made into a film or TV series. I believe that Jemima is 17 and Henry is 18 in this book because it says that he moved away with his mother when he was 12 and she was 11 and there's been six years since then. So as a 17 year old I thought that Sophie Turner who plays Sansa in Game of Thrones would be a really good choice. And then for the role of Henry I was going to say Tom Holland but I feel like I suggest him for everything that a young man can play a role of so I'm going to go with Cole Sprouse this time instead. I also think that for the role of Miss Grayson that Michelle Pfeiffer would be a really good choice. Overall I really enjoyed this book, I usually hate anything scary as I've said before but I really enjoyed this one. The good thing was that I'd already read Frozen Charlotte, so I kind of knew what I was letting myself in for by reading this one, so I made sure I read it during daylight hours. I actually read this book as part of a 24-hour readathon that I did recently to raise money for Jacob's Appeal. If you want to find out any more about that or watch the vlog that I recorded whilst I was doing the readathon, then I will leave the link in the description box down below for you. But as I was saying, overall I really enjoyed this. This will be a perfect Halloween read. I definitely recommend it and I've given it 5 out of 5 stars. So that is my review for Charlotte Says by Alex Bell. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have read either Charlotte Says or Frozen Charlotte, I would love to know what you think. You can leave me a message in the comment section below, or you can find me on any of my social media pages, which are also linked down below as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again soon with another video. Bye!